Let's see. I got to pass this damn uh, uh, agility test, right? So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, my illustrious, beautiful, wonderful family. Good morning, evening, friend. I'm your crazy announcer. And I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. I got to stop because you know how YouTube is. But with that being said, y'all, how was and how is your weekend going so far? I hope it's going wonderful. Um. Mine is going fabulous thus far. I would like to actually make sure that I give Charlemagne the God credit for, and I know I said I wasn't going to talk any, well, not very little political um, stances. And I, and I really mean that, very little. However, this is one worth uh, make mentioning of and talking about. Okay, uh, everybody knows that the the whole political theater game. Um, actually, I think my brother Nick Cannon did say it best to you that no, it's all political theater. Because the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are two wings. They're just different wings on the same bird, right? My left arm, my right arm. But they still attach to my body. And my body is white supremacy, okay? Whenever you forge a nation by killing all the natives off, let's just keep this a real conversation. And hopefully I won't um get in trouble but we can finish this over on patreon you understand what i'm saying because this needs to be said uh and y'all know how much i respect jane elliott i respect uh the tim weiss of the world um however no matter how lovingly you want to be you still ain't in the skin that i'm in and so when you res uh create an environment built on color, a construct of color is all bad. And nobody can begin to understand the pain of that unless they are in that color. And so there's a lot of things that I used to um, believe, um, even coming up, and um, that I don't believe in. I don't believe anymore. I can't support anymore. And I have to be honest, okay? So, honesty will get you in trouble, though. That's the thing about it. You know, and as black people, I knew that we would be forced, not because we want to, we're going to be forced to do for self, and we're going to be forced to either, we can't either let what's happening now, like, like the self-hatred kill us out, or we're going to have to knock it off and understand that it should be, just like they say in church, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. It's got to be one way. Once you identify what the freaking enemy is, what is happening on this planet, either in my opinion, in my humble opinion, either you're going to have to take this, the, the stake and drive it through the proverbial heart of white supremacy. You're going to have to do it. Otherwise, the natives, it don't look good for us at all. It don't look good for us. So at some point, we're going to have to have a game plan, just like the Republicans. And we don't have one. We still running around here killing each other. 
when the, when we should be able to read the signs of the times. First, they're going to take away. They're going to come for us first. You already know that. And so the poor whites that don't get it yet, they will. Once they take our voting rights away, you know, and do whatever harm they're going to do to black and brown people, they're going to come for the poor white people next. And they just don't get it because you're not doing anything. That's how it always goes, right? And when I say not doing anything, I don't mean the grassroots. I mean them people up in Congress that we didn't hire. Those politicians that are totally psychopathic motherfuckers who are actually about to sell us down the river. And you remember a long time ago when George Bush said it's going to be a new world order? Here it is. It's standing right at your door. And one thing about it, you already know black people as a, as a society and as a country, when white folks got a headache, we got fucking pneumonia. We're on our deathbed. Okay? So, they're going to start with us. going to take away the rights for us to vote. But see, here's the thing about it. It don't even have to be. I know one thing, black, as in my opinion, black people have to make up their mind. We're not going to support the Democratic Party no more. That's done. It's over. I ain't supporting the Republican Party either, but I'm not supporting none of it. Because can't nothing of it get me out of my situation. And they don't want to. They don't have the heart to. Anytime you saw, you saw Joe Biden sign an executive order that you bet not fuck with those Asians. Okay? And you know damn well you ain't even heard half the stories about Haitian hate as you hear and what you see on those police body cams, what's half the black people. We can't sell CDs, we can't sell cigarettes. We, you know, we get killed for that type of shit. And they can't find it in their heart. This this man can't find it in his heart to uh, uh <laughs> sign an executive order for us. No, because that's the left wing. The right wing is the one who's straight out hatred telling you, get the F on, and when we get here, we're going to hurt you. And when you had Donald Trump, he his personality was such, for most people that have anxiety or um, suffer from anything like that, he just wake it all up in you. If you didn't have no anxiety at first, you're going to have some fucking with him. You understand what I'm saying? So I still say Joe Biden was the lesser. Donald Trump had to get that fuck out of office. And he can't get back up in there. Okay, so now how can he be up in there and he will be in jail? So what is the the delay? His ass should be fried. He should have been... Tell me, we got to keep investigating. Everybody know. The streets is laughing. Because we've been no. Black people know the shit first. Black people are, we, we the um pulse. Okay, because we the shit. Shit run downstream, right? So black people is the pulse of this wicked bitch. We know everything about America and we know everything about Americans. Ask us. We done washed your dirty ass drawers. Okay? So you are, we been no. So now either they're going to try to wait this time out for the elections and we still be talking about, uh, let's call some people in, um, more investigation. Anybody by now, after you done heard the man talk to the governor, uh, I only need, uh, is 11,000 more votes. Uh, that's all I need. You think if Barack Obama's ass had been up in there doing something like that, they'd have, they, that noose that they had for Mike Pence, they'd have walked right into that Oval Office and whooped it around his god darn neck and drug him right out of there. Y'all know it. Go on and say it. So this right here is crazy. That's why I respect the Charlemagne. He said, that's it. Dude ain't no journalist. He ain't no uh, somebody that's supposed to be represented like that. Dude was a, from Monk, South Carolina. Right? Moss Point. Monk Point, whatever. Moss Point. Look. Wherever the hell he from, he ain't supposed to be doing nothing like this. <laughs> He's the only person that say something real on TV. Charlemagne. On the radio. 
on the Breakfast Club. And you see he made uh, Kamala ruffle her feathers. And then not a Democrat would probably tell my running Hillary broke down ass again. When you didn't let Bernie Sanders, uh, the corporate Democrats, um, and uh, this pack, the money grabbers, when they, when they, when Bernie was gaining and had the um, momentum against Hillary Clinton, you knew right then that uh, uh-uh, they ain't trying to help the people. Now they gave you five or six months worth a, a little bit of uh, 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 what they call it, um, you know, for the family, for the kids. Three hundred dollars a month for every man. That's all. Out of all the trillions in money they spend on weapons, listen to this, y'all. Poor people, poor people under the sound of my voice. That's why Dr. King is so important right now. Either we we can't learn to live together, right? The only way we can do that is for people to recognize it's the rich against the poor. That's what it is. Remember Marie Antoinette? Go let them eat cake. Don't y'all remember that shit? History is just a continuous wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Joe Biden's ass it's, listen, my mother has Alzheimer's. Okay? And at this age, um, there's some people that don't, that, that are a little bit more, her body is in great shape. The doctors are still amazed. My mother never smoked, she never drank. She was a preacher's wife, a minister's wife. I'm proud of the sacrifices she made for her body, but her mind is gone. And this is honest, and it's, you know, it's really hurts me to talk about this. So we talk about that on Patreon, and um, anyway, Joe Biden is in that stage where he don't need to be running no goddamn country. Neither should Donald Trump. These are old-ass white men that are fucked up. Really. And who gonna run the country? You gonna bring Hillary ass? Not only they ain't not gonna vote for no woman, why would you vote for a woman like Hillary? Cause she lost, cause she a corporate. The fact of the matter is, you gotta get this money out of it, and you can't because America is a corporation. You can't have it both ways. Okay? Trading our social security numbers on Wall Street, each and every one of us, as a commodity. That's what they doing. That's where we at with it, as y'all say. Now, what is the plan? Y'all, we got to have a plan. Even the slaves had a plan, and then when they didn't, Harriet Tubman made a plan. Oh, I hear dude talking about um, what's his name? Um, uh, Dane Calloway that that never happened and all that stuff. But that serves no purpose um, to talk about what kind of crisis we in. That that whole conversation serves no purpose for this time that where we at right now in history. It may be time for us to make that exodus again, the movement of job people. It's, it it comes a time where you got to confront that shit or you got to confront them. Okay? We don't have the weaponry. But I know who is the heart and soul of America. I know who is the culture of America. So you know how they had a day without Latinos? You got to have a day without poor people. You got to have a day without black people, more specifically. Okay? And we can't just keep killing ourselves because other groups, the other, the elite make us feel like, hey, we ain't got nothing coming. We are just as much human and deserving of just as much oh, uh, 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 physical, financial, and um, uh, ways to survive as they are. 
And we can't lose sight of that. We can't eat off each other. So if you're willing to join a poor people's campaign, that's why Dr. King was so brilliant. Because he knew this day would come. All through time, we had white people who helped black people. Otherwise, we wouldn't even been in this country like this. Okay? John Brown sacrificed eight sons. So every white person don't think like those wazoos that you see up at the Capitol. And don't let nobody get your mind twisted that they do. Every state is not actively trying to suppress the vote of people. Okay, it's not, it's like 19 of them. And how many states we got? Okay. But you got to understand, as long as they can keep us divided, that's when they win. Black people, if we don't take our power back now, we'll never do it. If you run your ass out, you done stood out in the lines in the pandemic. You done fought in every goddamn war, the north, the south, and you done fought on the side of the of the damn enemy to keep your own ass oppressed. At some point, you have to say enough is enough. I ain't doing shit. I ain't. And let the chips fall where they may, because they fall where they made with us anyway. They didn't just say, oh, we just going to give black families this $300 stipend every month. It's for everybody. Oh, yeah, I know we're supposed to have reparations. And, and people been trying to talk about reparations. But you know what? I'm not telling you to take it off the table. But I'm saying right now, I can't miss nothing I ain't never had. We ain't never had it. We've been getting it from the dirt. We've been getting it from the dirt. Some, some of us are going to get reparations. Some of us are. Because we're going to demand it. And the more uh, 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 we ap appeal and apply to the consciousness of those who are not wazoos, like I think, um, who is that? What is that? Uh, uh, there's a couple towns that have um, looked and start uh, with a, a reparations. It's a state by state thing. I don't care how it gets done, as long as it get done. But in the meantime, we still got work to do. You can't sit back and wait on nothing like that. And God bless the hearts of Ados, okay? Because I know who built this. I know, but to me, right now, in my humble opinion. That ain't on the top of the uh, program. I wouldn't vote shit. Now, you have to do it. Let it collapse. It's been collapsing on us. Oh, but we had, oh, no, no, no. But we ain't never had a totalitarian. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we put them in the Senate. We put them in a the house and we put them in the highest office, the presidency. And we still ain't got shit. We couldn't even get them to, him to sign the executive order to stop killing us. Qualified immunity, you name it. You couldn't, let alone the $15 an hour paid leave for people that work and have a baby. Nothing for our black asses. Who built it? So, it's a new world order. And we have got to figure it out, black folk. Either we're going to, you know, I mean, I, trust me. I grew up in a nation where we know we have to separate from this devil. We know that. We already know, okay? Now, once you physically separate mentally, just the sound of that sounds so scarce and afraid. But people that really respect us will understand that sometimes you have to separate yourself 
in order to get yourself together. And I think black people are way beyond that right now. I think America is way beyond that right now. We're on the precipice of, of um, <laughs> Farrakhan said it, going to hell in a, in a handbasket, in a rocket ship. We there. So that's my political rant for today. And I know um, YouTube is not going to let me monetize this video. So um, why don't y'all join me on Patreon? Why don't you subscribe uh, to us and let's um, build this community? Hey, if you like what you hear, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Please share the video. Let me know what you think. I mean, I could be wrong. Like I said, that's just my humble opinion. Okay? You tell me what you think about it. That's my grassroot opinion. Okay? All right. Now I'll see you in the next video.